again last night we were monitoring two trucks again um as we normally do we deployed our personnel um across the country in different areas and uh, around 1 a.m this morning <clears throat> one of the plane hovered over the blading area for about 20 minutes uh, we had a team there we believe they may have suspected that we had teams in that area and so they went to the Kanakik area and we had a team there as well they circled there for like 10 minutes and uh, perhaps they figured something was wrong again and they moved on they went down south and then we later found out that the plane may have landed in the Graham Creek area near the Belize Guatemala border again that's an area which is heavily vegetated and uh, it do poses significant challenges to the security forces to get to that location and so i believe that's the reason why that era is chosen i can say at this time we have not confirmed the landing but we have all reasons to believe that the plane did land in that area teams are currently on their way to the location it will take them about six to nine hours to get there that just goes to show the, the challenges that we're going to have to to get there and as soon as they have confirmed the landing then we will share with the media but again just to be open and don't appear to be hiding anything from the media and the public we believe with our certainty that the plane did land in the Grand Creek area last night and we'll continue to do our investigation along with our Guatemalan counterparts to see if the content of the plane and those persons who may be responsible can be found.